is my next project. Okay guys, here with me is a reborn arm with an ink stain on it, not purposely put on by me. Um, I'm not sure what could be possibly a permanent marker, but I am not sure what it is. I am just here to remove it. So, I have with me the Oxy 10. I really don't want to add too much because with the Real Cat it made a very, very, very slight, really hard to see mark around, but I just don't want to take any of the paint off. So, let's apply this. <clears throat> like here. Okay, so I have added it a little bit around, but there's nothing I can do about that. By a little bit around, I mean it's not exactly on the dot, there's a little bit past it. I'm going to put that in the sun for a little while. In the sun that goes, it is only afternoon here and it's not a super duper hot day, so it will probably take me a few times to get this one out until I get up and get straight to this tomorrow morning, hopefully and then I can get out for the day and it will be a lot quicker with the process. Okay, so in the sun we go. Right, so I've popped the arm up like that. <laughs> it's like a really weird thing out here. And it doesn't have any context, but it is a baby arm from the Joseph kit. <laughs> so it's just out in the sun. I over directed it towards the sun, hopefully. And I'll come out a little while when it's all dried up, wipe it off and try again. So something else I wanted to add onto this is these paints on this arm are Ultimate Fusion paints. So they are new. And we'll see how the Oxy 10 cream works with them. Alright, I've bought it inside. You can see that it's all dry. It's a little bit hard to focus at the moment. That's probably the best we're going to get. So let's wipe it off and see how we have gone. Oh, we're still there. Don't know if it's gonna wanna come out, but I can see a white mark where it looks like it has taken the paint off, which isn't ideal. I think it has taken some of the mark out. Maybe not though, we'll have to compare it. I've also just put some extra cream on for the night. So I'll see how that goes tomorrow morning. It's a little bit hard to see, but I'll wipe it off tomorrow and you can actually see the little mark around it. So be really careful to not exceed that mark that I've already made. I don't want to take any extra paint off, but it seems like it is taking this paint off. Again, this paint is the Ultra Fusion Air Dry Paint. Morning, it's like 10 o'clock or so. I left that cream on overnight without any sun, but I just thought I would check and see how it worked. So let's see if that helped. I don't think it's done too much to it. It might have loosened a little bit, but I'll take another photo. I'm taking a photo per stage this time so I can see how the, the mark goes. And I will put the cream back on and then put it outside in the sun. It's been out there a few hours now, but I just thought that I would reapply the cream. It's almost off. We'll give it another go. It just looks like a brown mark now when it's in the right lighting. again in the sun I'm trying to direct it towards the sunlight as well okay it's been out in the sun for another few hours what is the time it is 5 30 apparently i think i last pulled it out at like 1 30 or something i don't know let's see how we go still a slight mark i will check with 
or you know, I don't know if it's gonna come out even any more than that. But it's not a giant dot anymore. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad anyways. Not sure. All right, afternoon sun. I kind of just put my nail through it to see what would happen. It's still got that kind of mark inside. I don't know if that will come off. I will try tomorrow out in the sun. Let's see if that helps. I have spoken to a few people. So as I mentioned before, this is painted with the, with the ultimate fusion paints. This dot here doesn't happen. Genesis heat set paints. So I kind of want to test it on a Genesis heat. Genesis heat set paint but I don't have a mark and I'm not going to put a mark on a baby so if I see one I'll let you all know. This last mark has been a pain in the butt. I have not been home for the past two days. I was home yesterday, but I didn't actually have any time to do it. Why has that smudge around there? I'm so confused as what's happened. Let's wipe this off and see how it goes. I don't know if this lighting will help a little bit more. I think you might. Yeah, we'll see that. So around the dot, we've got this weird... It's not like the paint's come off like the dot has, but around it, it's kind of like blended out so all the bluey, purpley colours aren't in that area. And it blends in a little bit better than just with the random dot on her arm. So I have no idea how that happened, but I think that that's going to work in our favour for this baby. I'm doing one more treatment. I'm really hoping that this is the last one. I haven't seen a huge improvement from the last time so I'll put it out this last time and see how I go. I'm going to say that I wouldn't even recommend this method to be used with the Ultra Fusion paints. With the Oxy 10, like you saw, it went straight through the paint. With the Genesis Heat Set paint, it doesn't actually go through. So I'll have to find a baby with a boo-boo on them and do the whole process again with the Genesis Heat Set paint. I just don't have one right now. If you had a baby that had something on the back of the arm or something, I would probably suggest that you could use it for the Ultra Fusion paints. But if it was the face or something, I'm not quite sure what I would do. I would probably just stick clear of the Ultra Fusion paints. Just put out the sun for the afternoon. So let's wipe this one off and see how it goes. If it doesn't come off in this go, then I don't think it is going to come off. Yeah, it's still kind of there. It's not an ink mark, it's like a brown colour. It's like, I don't know how to explain that. So that's what we've got left. It's very strange. I'm not sure if I've done a proper ending video for this arm, as it's been done over days and I've been filming other stuff. So anyways, this arm was painted with the Ultra Fusion paints that are air dry and it got the mark on it, which I'll show you right here. And this is what the mark looks like now after using Oxy 10 on it. You can see that there is a white dot around, like a white ring around it and there's a mark inside which at the end of the day I'm going to say that if you have a baby that is painted with ultra fusion paints there is nothing that's going to get ink off it without having to have your baby repainted because you can see that the paint has been removed there there's also like a slight circle around it a theory behind that is the constant wiping down of the area final recommendation and result of this arm would be one don't get ultra fusion air dried paints make sure that your babies are painted with genesis heat set paints and make sure that you keep your babies away from all marks i understand that accidents do happen but if you could um avoid this situation it would be better to you this isn't an arm of my baby so i told the lady that owned it 
that I would try. I did show a photo of Emerson's arm that has a tiny ring, but it's not noticeable because Emerson arm, Emerson's arm isn't painted. Um, but yes, yeah, so it did take the paint off there. I just, yeah, I just hate this paint. I just, this paint work is just, oh, I just hate this whole thing. So anyways, don't do it. It's up to you if it's in a discreet spot, that would be fine. If it was on the face or somewhere noticeable, probably wouldn't do it. Hope this helped you guys. Bye.